Welcome back to my channel. Today is fitness day five and I thought I'd chat with you guys about my tanning routine. Um, I get asked all the time what tanner I use and being a redhead you have to be pretty dang picky on what self tanning products you use because you don't want to look like a giant walking orange. So. So I personally like to self tan because I like the way it makes me feel. It makes me feel more confident. I like having tanner skin. I am so fair and it's beautiful to have fair skin, but personally I just feel better when I'm a little bit tan. So I like using self tanning products, but I'm very, very picky when it comes to what type of self tanning products I use. So I've tried a lot of self tanners and the one that I absolutely love is from Loving Tan. So I use the shade Dark. I have both the Two Hour Express Mousse and then the Deluxe um, Tanning Mousse right here, the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. They are the exact same color. The only difference is the Two Hour Express is fully developed in two hours and then the Deluxe Tanning Mousse develops over six hours. What I normally do is I just normally wear it to bed, wake up the next day, shower, and I'm good to go. But I use the shade Dark. There is medium, dark, and ultra dark. One thing that I love about this tan is the color is actually tan. It's not green, which I've had experience with different tanning products before where it actually turned me green. It was the weirdest thing. It's not orange. There's no hints of orange. Like... This is a true tan color. It's like gives you that olive color that you really are looking for and it does not smell bad, which is a plus too. So there are a few steps to my tanning routine, which I think is so important. The steps are very, very, very important. So step one is you want to exfoliate and shave in the shower before you put on any sort of tan. You want to Get the previous tan off if you have some sort of tan on your skin. If you don't, if this is your first time tanning, just you want to exfoliate your skin to get the dry skin off of your like skin in the first layer. So what I use is the Loving Tan Exfoliator Mitt. It is pink on one side, black on the other. The black side is a little bit more rough, so if you have like a newer tan you can really take that and scrub it so it's really important to exfoliate your skin and really prep your skin before you start tanning so i will exfoliate and shave in the shower i will put on regular lotion on the driest areas of my skin so my elbows my hands my ankles and my feet are normally like my go-to sometimes my knees too but you do not want to put on lotion like all over because then the tan won't go on as smooth and then I will go ahead and start applying the tan. So what is really important is to have some sort of applicator mitt. This is the Loving Tan application mitt. It is so soft and so velvety and it just puts your tan on so much smoother than if you did just using your hand. I will pump the product onto the tanning mitt. I usually pump like two to three pumps per area onto my body. So I'll do like three pumps for my whole arms and like three pumps for my legs and stuff like that. Um, but what's really nice about it is you can see when it's going on. So you can see exactly where you're putting the product. So if a part of your skin is a lot lighter than um, the right next to it, you know you miss that spot when you tan so you can like easily go over it. I start normally with my legs and I work my way up. Everyone asks me about how I do my back. It's a ninja move, honestly. I literally like push my arm to the back to get my upper back. Or I'll have my fiance do it, but I don't really trust him a lot of the time. Hey. <laughs> so I do my whole entire body and then when I am done with the like big areas like my arms, legs, stomach, chest, back, I will then go with whatever is left over on the mitt and do the top of my hands. I do not pump more product onto the mitt to do my hands and feet because those areas tend to um, develop the product a lot darker than everywhere else on your body. So I just use whatever is left over on the mitt. And then for my face, I use, I use their Deluxe Face Tan in medium. I do not put the mousse on my face, but you can totally put the mousse on your face if you wanted a more dark tan. 
but they also have the deluxe face tan in medium dark and ultra dark. I have dark as well, um, but I like having my face a little bit lighter than the rest of my body just because I can do my makeup a little bit darker to match my body. So this was made for your face, so it doesn't tend to break your face out or anything, um, but I've used the uh, mousse on my face before and I was totally fine. I didn't break out with this too, but this just develops a little bit darker on my face than this did. So I really do like the face tan. It's a great product and it smells, it doesn't smell bad at all. So that is a plus. And then throughout the week, just to keep up my tan, the tan does last for a while. Um, it just depends on how well you take care of it. So obviously you want to take care of it as best as possible. But one thing that I do use during the week is the is the Deluxe Gradual Tan. So this one is in dark. So it is more so like a lotion that you put on your whole body just to keep your tan. Um, it is tinted so you can see when it comes out. It comes out a little bit more brown. Um, so you can see when it's going on. But this is great too if you have like some splotchy spots. I know for me, my the inside of my elbows tend to um, splotch a little bit more than the rest of my body. So... I'll just put some on the inside and it'll kind of fix that area of my tan, which is great. But it is really important to take care of your tan. Don't scrub it off every single time you shower unless you're ready to scrub it off to tan again. Um, you wanna make sure you are moisturizing because you need to moisturize in order to not get dry skin, which will tend to flake off your tan. So, so yeah, nothing's really changed. I still use Loving Tan. I'm obsessed with it. If you've never tried it before, you should absolutely try it because it's such a good tan. So if you guys were to order a mousse, you can get a free application mitt at checkout if you just put my name, Katie Oven, in the discount, which is really nice too because honestly, having a applicator mitt is amazing and honestly essential. So it is day five of fitness and I actually teamed up with Loving Tan for today's giveaway, which is so exciting. All you have to do is go find my latest post with Loving Tan. I'll pop it up right here. Tag three of your best friends and follow my Instagram and Loving Tan's Instagram and they will be sending you and all three of your best friends a $250 value pack of tan. So like I said, all you have to do is follow me and Loving Tan on Instagram. Go find this photo and tag three of your best friends to win a $250 value pack of tanner. Like that is a good giveaway. Go enter. I hope you guys like this video. That's it. How easy is that? So today is workout day five of fitness. Um, it is another full body hit. It is not an EMOM today. It is just a circuit. So essentially you are moving from one exercise to the next, limiting rest in between. After you finish the fifth exercise, you are resting for like one to two minutes and then you're going to redo that circuit five times through. So um, you wanna try to limit your rest in between each exercise so then you can keep your heart rate up. And then at the end of the fifth exercise, you can rest for like one to two minutes just to catch your breath and just keep on going. This workout should take you about 30 minutes. Feel free to do extra cardio after if you want, but this workout, as long as you keep your heart rate up and you're challenging yourself, you are good to just do this workout. My hair is a mess. I just like, I just ran upstairs. I took this one to go potty. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's just get into the workout and then we can chat about today's giveaway. Okay, so exercise number one in our circuit is just regular bicep curls. So this is where you can really challenge yourself with the weight you're using, um, bicep curls and the next exercise as well. Don't be afraid to lift heavier weights. Um, if you think like five pounds, 10 pounds is so easy for you and you're not feeling the burn, move up five more pounds and see how you feel there. Just make So the second exercise is shoulder presses. So same thing here, challenge yourself with the weight use. You are only doing 10 reps. So don't pick up the fives. If those are so easy for you, definitely choose a moderate weight that makes the last three to four reps pretty challenging for you. Um, and then you're going into 12 squat walk-ups. So you are just getting onto your knees and then walking up into a low squat. 
Feel free to stand all the way up if you wanna make it more challenging or you can even add a jump. Um, but right here, you are keeping constant tension in all of your leg and glute muscles. So that is exactly what you wanna do. There is Indy, she's such a star. <laughs> um, so with squat walk-ups, you are doing 12 total. I like to alternate legs, six on one, six on the other. And then going into 15 banded hip thrusts. So with banded hip thrusts, you wanna make sure you are keeping tension on that band the entire time by pushing your knees outward. You are pushing up through your heels and squeezing at the top, keeping that head forward, chin tucked, and really only moving from your sternum down. Really squeezing your glutes at the top of every single rep. And then the fifth exercise here is going to be dumbbell reverse lunges. So 16 total, I'm alternating here. You could do eight on one side, eight on the other. I like alternating. Pick up a challenging weight. I have 25s, I believe, in my hands here. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself in this workout, even though it's a hit. You can still pick up heavy weights to really maximize your workout. So we do a total of 16 dumbbell reverse lunges here, and then we are moving into 12 single arm snatches, and that's gonna be each arm. So with these, you are gonna be squatting low, and then you are going to thrust that dumbbell over your head. So a lot of the movement and a lot of the power is coming from your hips, thrusting that over your head. Um, it's kind of like a little shoulder press, but with this, you want to make sure you're squatting low and thrusting that dumbbell up. You want to make sure you're engaging your core the entire time too, because core stability in this exercise is extremely important. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself with the dumbbell here. You are doing 12 on each arm. And once you finish, you can just dance it out like this, waiting until you start it all over again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. I will see you guys next time.